for the most part in the crypto market this week, uh, it's it's been pretty tempered. People are playing things very close to the vest because there's something coming later on this week that I think most people are focused on. But when we talk about XRP, there's something else that's going on as well that does really closely need to be monitored. I'm Luxide. Welcome to the channel. If you guys are new or haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that bell again. It's free to do. We'll keep you updated anytime there's new content live here on the channel. So XRP price is just kind of been chopping. We're, we're going sideways right now. Another buy zone opportunity again, flash yesterday. Go figure. There's There's been a bunch of these lately. Again, if you guys want to check out my indicator, there's a link in the description below. Again, there's a seven day free trial. And right now, I believe why we are playing things so close to the vest is there was another 18 million XRP on the move from Chris Larson. So this XRP was actually moved to both Binance and Bittrex. 3 million XRP moved to Binance and 15 million moved to Bittrex. So it looks like this, this 50 million XRP that he pulled from his main wallet is in fact intended to be dumped. So right now, that's why XRP is not making much headway. Hopefully that makes sense for people because right now people don't want to basically buy into a, a dump, right? And in fact, some people are saying prepare for XRP violent crash, weak trend and extended distribution spell. Now I will say I'm not on that boat, okay? We have been so suppressed for so long and there are so many people that are such long-term holders of XRP that frankly, there's not a lot of people willing to dump right now, especially with the this, uh, this SEC appeal deadline right at our doorstep. It's only two weeks away, guys. So no, I don't think we're in, in the, the possibility of getting ready for this negative bearish dump on the market. Yes, we may deal with some selling, but right now, if you guys haven't noticed, BTC is just kind of chopping. We're just moving sideways. And, and frankly, this is what institutional money is doing as well. You guys can see that yesterday, not a big day in institutional money, $4.5 billion worth of inflows. So again, everybody's kind of just chilling, waiting. And the big reason why is that we actually have a PCE report later this week. This is coming on September 27th. This is the latest in our macro data. And so again, we're going to find out what inflation is doing in terms of the uh, personal consumption expenditures. Okay. So if these other reports that we've dealt with have been any indication of what we may experience here. It's that it's again, probably going to be another step in the right direction. We know that now we've had a rate cut. We know that the data is supporting a very consistent theme of a slow, but steady return back to the mean. Okay. And frankly, we're probably waiting for a confirmation of this report. Now, maybe things will pick up as we get through the, the course of the week. Maybe institutional money will just continue to push things to the upside. And frankly, that's where things could in fact get beneficial for XRP. Right now, middle of the week, just, just not that conducive for it right now. So what we'll have to just wait and see is, is if Chris Larson is in fact going to be dumping, if some of the, the market has already absorbed it, which, which if it is, I mean, that's even a better, better case scenario, right? Unfortunately, we don't have the level of transparency with uh, centralized exchanges that we do with on-chain moves, but the, the path is still set, guys. We're still following the same trend. We're still trying to slowly but surely work our way out of this zone, this 54 cents to 68 cents. If we live in here for a little bit, I am completely okay with that because I know that 2025, including the latter part of this year, probably the last few months of the year, are going to be some of the biggest adoption times in crypto, some of the biggest adoption times for XRP, especially as we get into next year's runway and you start to see more partnerships launched here in the US and more use case and things like that. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Appreciate you guys as always. Have a great day. Show your love below. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.